In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, I'd like to give you some of my favorite tips on how to use and reuse projects to create your completed video. Let's assume that I'm working on a project and I want to add something I've used before in another project. Well, that's what the My Projects window is for. To get to that, I'm going to click on the little blue arrow when I'm in the media room, open up the left panel, and you notice the bottom option I have is My Projects. Let's click on that. When I click on that, what it will do is it will give me a thumbnail. It's a database linked to all the recent projects that I've done. Now, what it does is it takes any projects that you save and automatically adds them to the list that you see here. You will see a thumbnail for them. Let's assume there's a project I don't want in here. All I need to do is right click on it, click on remove, and it will take that project out. Again, it doesn't delete it from your hard drive or wherever it's stored. It just simply removes it from the database. There's something else you may want to know. I've been working in PowerDirector 365. When I shut it down and open up, say, PowerDirector 16 or an earlier version, work on that, and then come back to PowerDirector 365, I've noticed it will completely delete this database. This screen will be empty. So if that ever happens to you, this is something just to be aware of. It will wipe it out. So I finally figured out what was going on. So what I'd like to do is show you some other things you can do with these projects. So let's assume that I want to mark them in categories. I want them here, but that's too many to see, especially once when I get 50, 60, 100 of them. I want to tag them. So I'm going to open the panel again, and here I have some tags. I create a tag by clicking on the plus with the tag symbol. And let's add a new tag. Let's just call this junk. And now I have a new tag. To apply a tag to any of my projects, all I need to do is right click on it and I can click Add to Custom Tag. And I can add this one to Junk. If I want to go back and see everything that's junk, I click on that. And now in the My Projects, all I see is this particular one. If I want to see them all, I just click on the My Projects and they're all displayed. Likewise, if I want, I can take out a tag. It does not delete the project that's associated with it. I'll right click on it. I can rename it or simply delete it. And I've deleted the tag. So you can tag everything that you find here so that if certain of them are a certain type of video or for a certain kind of use, you can have it populate and show everything or a subcategory. That's a real nice feature. So let's assume that we want to use a project we used before. This is very common, for example, when you are using stuff in a series for a YouTube channel and maybe you have an introduction that's going to be the same every time or mostly the same. All I need to do is take the project and drag it down and drop it on the timeline. And this is one of the ways it comes in. This is come, comes in as a nested project. Now, you notice it says PDS in here. If, if I want to click on it, you notice I, I, it says New Untitled Project, which was my project before. And then I have another tab called Mount Rush. Okay, that is the one that contains this nested project. If I want to edit a nested project, I certainly can. I'll click on this one here. And what it will do is it will open it up like it's the only project that I have. So I have my traditional window where I can edit any of the elements inside the project. There we go. And here I have, I have the text, I have the video. Let's play this and you can see what it is. And so if I have a series on Mount Rushmore and I want to use this, I want to edit it, maybe I want to change the music or the pacing or anything else, I can edit it inside of this container as a nested project. Now there's one thing you have to be aware of. If I lengthen or shorten the duration of this project, I also have to do it on the main timeline. Otherwise, uh, I'll either have a blank spot or I'll have an area where it's actually cut off. And so this length here has to be the same or I can change it inside and then I have to change the duration here. So this is a nested project. Now the nice thing about nested projects is when you're editing elsewhere, let's take, let's go back out of our project window here to our media content. 
and you notice what it's done, it's added all of it to the media. If I want this, this picture here next to it, I can edit this all I want and it's less likely unless I click on the tab that I'm going to actually mess up anything inside the nested project. So that's a really good feature. So that's how to do a nested one. Now let's delete both of these. I want to show you something else. Why did it come in nested? Well, because on my settings, if I click on the gear in the upper right corner and click on the editing section, here is where you control how it comes in. Set default insert project behavior. Now I have it on nested. The other option is expanded project. Let's see what the difference is. I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to go back to my projects window. And let's take the same Mount Rush and drag it in this project. And now it comes in expanded. Now you notice a difference here. It actually puts it on like I just edited it raw in this particular project. Now why might sometimes this be useful? This might be useful, for example, if I have, say, a audio file. In this case, it's a music file. And I want the music to go on beyond the end of the project because I want to do some voiceover and I want the music to slowly fade out as the voiceover comes in. And that can happen if I simply butt up the voiceover against the music. I want the voiceover on another track. I want this to continue and linger. So I would want to say, in this case, maybe I want to lengthen it a little bit. So let's do that. We'll click on that. We'll lengthen the, the audio. And then we can fade it out. We can use some keyframes to fade it out. And maybe I'm going to have some voiceover come in here or something else come in here. You can also do it with video, of course. You can change the, the titles. But there are some cases where you don't want to bring it in nested. And that's how you change it to come in expanded. So that's the other main option you can use when you're bringing these in. And you can mix and match. So I'm going to go back to my controls in the upper right corner. Click on editing. Now let's do back to nested. Click on OK. And now we'll go back to our projects window. And let's take our bridge and we'll bring the bridge project in. And now the bridge project comes in and as a nested project. So you can mix and match all you want, but it's really nice. A couple things, especially if you want to set up, say, a beginning or an ending that you're going to use over and over and over again. Save it as a project. Don't add anything special to it. And then when you start your next project, all you have to do is import it as a project at the beginning or at the end. And then you can continue without having to reinvent the wheel many times over. I hope you find this useful. Projects are really powerful and to be able to reuse them makes them even more powerful. Mm -hmm.